Hey guys and welcome back to another test. So we're gonna have a good one today. We have Kaspersky Premium versus EZ Smart Security Premium. Now with Kaspersky, my AV did update to the latest version, so they included a couple of extra things like cloud backup, some um, improvements, and things like that. Now, if we're gonna look at our um, settings, okay. So on AV, we are gonna use max security settings for this test. So um, we have tweaked both AVs a bit to see if we can get a little bit more out of them. So we're going to do disinfect, delete, um, and um, if the disinfection fails, um, security level was set to um, extreme. Um, under advanced, we're going to do all files, heuristics are uh, set to deep, um, scan all files and things like that. We're going to leave it on smart mode and then use all the um, technologies there. And we have a um, exclusion, which is our script, but we have detect stalkerware and things like that. So exclusion, um, we excluded our script um, from System Watcher because that's normally where it gets detected. Now we're gonna move back. Okay, save browsing. We're gonna leave that on optimal. Um, okay, so we're gonna do that. Okay, so max settings only for AV side, male antivirus, we're not going to test today, we'll do test again, um, checking for spam and stuff, today we're just going to do an old fashioned uh, malware test, um, AMC protection is enabled, we're going to set that, uh, I actually forgot to do that, so let's quickly save that, okay, so we've got a network attack blocker, and let's say treat port scanning, let's save that as well, Okay, so firewall we're going to leave on default for firewall, we're not changing any firewall settings. Uh, weak system scan settings, uh, system watcher is on, we're going to leave it to set um, this um, um, automatically. Uh, intrusion prevention, that is also set. Um, KSN, that is enabled. Uh, self defense, you guys can see that's enabled as well. And I think we're getting to the end of the security settings. Now, um, under privacy, um, I have to show this. So, safe browsing or private browsing is turned off. Um, web and my control is on. Stalker where detection is on. Uh, violation is on. Anti banner is turned on. Um, unwanted app um, are turned on as well, as well as adware remover. So, the majority of the privacy things are enabled. Under identity, uh, we pretty much just left everything as is. Um, and then that's about that. So let's quickly hop over to ESET. We're gonna do a quick F5 to get to those advanced settings. Um, under advanced, we have AMC integration, network traffic scanners enabled, cloud-based protection. We've got live grid and um, live guard as well. So live grid feedback system. Live guard is set to kill process, block execution until the verdict is received for 10 minutes. Um, it also submits documents, malware scan. We're only going to do um, an in-depth scan, so the scan targets, as you guys can see, is set to pretty much everything. Uh, detection is set to aggressive, uh, threat sense um, is set to scan all these objects and always remedy the detection and smart optimization I've disabled I want to test it a bit um, so um, smart optimization keeps a balance between scanning speed and detecting and things like that so I'm going to leave smart scan um, off so it will scan a bit longer but because um, as far as I know smart optimization if it already has a verdict for the file doesn't scan it so um, we're just going to leave smart scan optimization disabled for this test uh, document protection is enabled, threat sense is also set uh, to remedy and we're going to leave smart optimization for documents. Now HIPS is set to smart mode, normally I test it on automatic mode so I want to test it this time on smart mode and that's pretty much that. Under protection we've got everything to aggressive so he set on high testosterone today. Now we've got uh, real time protection and things like that. Threat sense, scan UEFI, heuristics, advanced DNA, um, 
advanced threat sense parameters, pretty much everything is enabled. Network access protection uh, is enabled. Firewall we've got enabled. Firewall is set to automatic mode. Um, IDS is enabled. IDS rules. Um, there should actually be an IDS rule here. I don't know why it was here. So we're just going to say any detection direction of both. We're going to say block yes. Uh, I'm going to say notify no. I'm going to say lock yes. Okay, cool. So let's do an IDS there. Um, brute force protection is enabled. And pretty much that's about that. Um, email we're not going to do. Web protection um, and the phishing web access is enabled. Um, HTTP scanning, threat sense again. Um, parental control, not really going to use that. Browser protection is enabled. Um, only the essential extensions. Um, and then script scanner is enabled. And I think that's that for ESET. Okay, so let's quickly get the protection disabled. You guys know this by now. Get the malware extracted and then we can st uh, start this test. Okay guys, so we've got all the nasties extracted. So let's quickly look at our sample count. So we've got 8,577 on each side. So not normally as high as I normally go, but I think this is adequate enough. So we obviously got a um, bunch of fileless malware, a um, couple of um, zip files. We've got applications, we've got ISO files and things like that. So all Windows related uh, files. So, um, we're only going to execute files that are supported on Windows. Now um, we are going to quickly make sure that they are up to date. Okay, so I think they should be up to date. Yeah, so ESET is up to date. Uh, I think Kaspersky should be up to date as well. It's almost done. Okay, so on the Kaspersky, we are going to use the Kaspersky VPN, and on ESET, we are going to use Proton VPN. Um, once I have my um, ESET um, Ultimate that has the ESET VPN, then I'll start using the ESET VPN, but for now, we are just going to use the Proton VPN. Okay, so it seems like they are all up to date. I think it's time to enable the protection. Okay, so they are all green and I, they are good to go. Sorry guys, I completely forgot to um, copy the website script. <laughs> so I have to quickly do that. So now that that is finally done and I completely uh, missed that. So um, obviously the first test will be um, the website test. Um, there's no pop-ups of any of the AVs um, so none of them have detected any of the malware that's in the folder so I'm not going to open it up and provoke the AV to do so so that's I'm actually quite glad about that so it'll be done to remove malware before they execute so the first test will obviously be the um, website test so let's quickly do that okay it seems like he said is a tad quicker here okay so as you guys can see we do have the ESET plugin and the brow, uh, browser privacy and security plugin we do have the same for Kaspersky as well okay so he said and Kaspersky is not happy about a couple of things that's always great to see um, seems like he said is blocking a lot of these downloads Let's see let's try them again Nope, don't seem like they are downloading. Okay, yeah, so they are not downloading, so that's great. So let's see what's happening on the Kaspersky. I'm uh, complaining about the crypto scam. Okay, so that uh, website is blocked. This one is prevented. Um, this one is also blocked. Just waiting for the pages. Cool, blocked. Uh, these ones should be blocked as well. Yep, they blocked. And uh, let's see what this one's doing. Yep, blocked as well. Block, blocked. Uh, blocked. Should give us the block page now. Yep. Okay, so this one seems to be open. Blocked. Uh, still seems to be thinking about it. 
Okay, so this one is open. I don't think that is a Apple website. Funny enough, is it blocked this one, but not this one? Okay, this one is not blocked. Okay, that is definitely Facebook. No doubt about it. Okay, so it seems like we might have. Let's just quickly go through it again. I'm not going to count the ones that are still loading. I'm just going to count the ones where the page actually opened up. So we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, so it seems like we've got five pages to open up. Let's quickly have a look at ESET. Um, I think these are the ones that are being blocked. Yep, okay, cool. So we've got five on Kaspersky. This one says not found. Okay, website blocked. Blocked, blocked. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. So it looks like Kaspersky is taking this one. We've got five versus seven. Um, doesn't seem like these ones are being blocked. Okay, cool. So Kaspersky took the win on this one. Five versus seven. Let's quickly see what downloaded. Okay, so we've got these partial files here. We are not going to count them. They both downloaded the scripted um, bitmap file. Let's quickly see what the image shows, if there is an image. Okay, nope, no real image. Okay, cool. That could have been steganography maybe. Um, download the image and then the script and then run whatever is inside the image. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so website test done. Win for Kaspersky by two sites. Now for the main main one to run. I'm just going to put this in that little corner. Uh, let's maybe move it a little bit. Okay, so as you guys can see, we've got a couple of files opening. We've got Excel. I'm going to run that one. Let's look with Kaspersky. Doesn't seem like we've got any real issues yet. If we look, just look at the virus total scores. On EC, it doesn't seem like it as well. Let's run this bad boy. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to install this. Create desktop shortcut. Yes, we want to see that. Okay, so it doesn't seem like we have any real issues so far. Okay, for now with Kaspersky, I'm just going to do the disinfect without the restart for obvious reasons. Okay, on EC, it doesn't seem like we've got anything running yet. Yes, always the Java. Okay, as you guys can see, it's a little bit more busier on the ESET VM. Got a little bit more things opening up. Okay, so we've got a lot of pop-ups on ESET. Extract the zip. I'm going to do this one as well. Okay, so this could be a rat. Let's have a look.
Okay. But I don't seem to have any. I only have this one that's running on ESET. Seems so far nothing for Kaspersky. Block the crypto mining. That's good. Let's minimize that. Install this. So as you guys can see, we are busy, we are executing, um, we are detonating these samples. So if there's anything weird or funky or interesting, I'll let you guys know. Um, but for now, I'm just going through all these gazillion pop-ups. Once the samples are done, we'll look at the results and then we'll take the test from there. Okay guys, so I'm just pointing out that um, the Kaspersky VM is shutting down on its own so I'm gonna start it now um, so I'm not sure ESET is ahead of Kaspersky so it seems like the same malware that um, made Kaspersky shut down did not do this on the ESET VM so I'm just putting out it is starting up again um, so I will continue the test Okay, okay guys, so the test is um, done. Now with um, Kaspersky, you guys saw that it did do a restart. It actually did a second restart, but I kind of saw which malware that was. So when it got to that malware, I just canceled it and it um, was fine for the third time. So it was literally third time lucky. With ESET, ESET was done with the test, um, but it did also reboot way at the end when it was done with the test. So I'm not sure um, why that was so, but it was actually finished, it rebooted, so then I re-executed the malware um, in the folder that was um, left behind. Um, so um, yeah, so just, just a reference, he said that also reboot, but I did um, execute uh, the malware again. Now with Kaspersky and ESET, um, obviously ESET now is giving us this pop-up, it wants to restart. Um, Gaspersky also, um, obviously wants to do the advanced disinfection, but before we do that, let's have a quick squiz at our um, processes that are still running. So it seems like we still have um, these um, processes. So what I'm going to do is let's just quickly, I'm just going to look at the top three. Uh, for ESET, we're just going to look at this one maybe. Okay, so the malware on ESET seems to be just a generic Trojan. Um, no real AVs are actually flagging it, so it could be just a false positive. Um, because like Sentinel um, and Silence, these guys do use a lot of AI. So it could be a false positive or maybe just something new, but I don't think this is really something to worry about. Um, you can close that now. With Kaspersky, it seems like um, this Trojan Seems like it's not detected by ESET, but it is obviously not running on ESET because sometimes these lists that are a bit outdated where the AV can actually block it, but it's not listed here as of yet. But yeah, we got a couple of high vendors um, and that's flagging this one as malware. I don't see Kaspersky here. Nope. Okay, okay so with this one, uh, the summary, okay, detection. So we have ESET that's detecting this one. So it just seems like maybe it's a PUP. Um, Mimikatz, uh, they're rating this as Mimikatz. So it's Nano. And then this one um, seems to be just malicious. Um, but yeah, maybe this one's not really. So yeah, doesn't seem like it's too bad. But yeah, we'll need to check what this a what this. Um, malware is and what is the purpose of it to actually determine if it's bad or not but it doesn't seem like we have that many running um, now we are gonna look at uh, um, startup items let me just make this one a bit bigger okay so startup items
Okay, Kaspersky is just a bit on the slow side, sorry guys. Okay, while we wait for Kaspersky, it seems like we've got this startup item for ESET. Okay, so we've got this Java here. Uh, we've got all this stuff here, interactive service. And yeah, doesn't seem like we've got that many startup items. So it just seems like this one looks a bit odd. And maybe this one as well, but yeah, not really that bad. Doesn't seem like we've got that many. Uh, let's go to Kaspersky. Okay, so we've got that same ASR that we have on ESET. Also this uh, Connect UI. Um, we've got this um, launcher here, which I think is the business in a box. It's got the same inf Infatica service as well. Then we've got a Kren. Luckily, it's not a Karen. Um, yeah, this one is here. Then we've got this new. Okay, so this is a, a badge file also from startup. Just called new. And... So it looks like we, m yeah, it's very equal. So this new is looking a bit sus for Kaspersky, and then we've got that other one for ESET that looks a bit sus as well. So maybe one each on this side. And when I saw these text files, I'm like, oh my goodness, we've got ransomware infection, which I don't think we do. Um, I think this is just malware that um, is just trying to be funny and putting all these lol text files on the desktop let's actually see what they say so I think this is just to trying to be funny low maybe a real fortnite exploits where that is for maybe okay cool so I just think this is just a bunch of nonsense that's being dropped on the desktop so let's quickly see if we do have ransomware infection okay so documents for ESET seems fine we have a couple of extra um, folders here but our initial Documents and test file seems to be good. Uh, nothing in that folder. Kaspersky seems good. Also a bunch of folders. Let's go to our pictures. And pictures are good. All in all. Okay, cool. So no ransomware. We had that couple of files there in pictures. But yeah, so it seems like our wallpaper was changed as well. Um, but I don't see any real issues with this VM as of yet, so that's good. So I'm going to do the advanced disinfecting and restart with Kaspersky, as you guys can see. Um, ESET gave us a pop-up that it wants to restart, so I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to see if we do get the pop-up from ESET again. If in that period there's no pop-up from ESET to restart, I'll just do a normal restart. And then we'll update the AVs, do a full scan, and then we'll look at the results. Okay, so the scans are done. Now, what I forgot to show you guys in um, during the test was um, I did notice some other AVs trying to install. So you guys will see that we've got um, RAV um, endpoint uh, protection on Kaspersky as well. And we do also have this other weird Chinese, um, or I'm assuming it's Chinese, um, antivirus. I've seen it before in the previous tests. Um, there was also a, a vast installer um, for ESET and for Kaspersky as well, but those installers did fail. But as you guys can see, we do have RIV, but I did disable the protection just to make sure it doesn't interfere with Kaspersky. But obviously it re-enables every time after a restart. Uh, let's just close all of this. Um, I don't think the pop-up is here anymore for the Chinese AV, but... Um, I'm actually not sure which one it actually is but there is this other AV and then I've also noticed uh, there was another one here as well Oh, um, but yeah so you guys can see we've got these couple of AVs here now with Kaspersky full scan it finished we have all these objects um, but it is still red so this must probably some unprocessed um, objects uh, let's check there's one issue 87 objects okay and it's going to show them all okay so yeah so we've got a couple of years so i'm just going to say resolve all and then ESA did finish its scan so um uh, i did this filter just to do clean so i normally do with ESA clean and delete it and it just helps 
to see where it deleted malware. So it seems like predominantly from the samples and then we've got here yeah, from document settings and from the sys, sys uh, well folder. Let's quickly uh, do this. Let's see if it changed. Nope. Doesn't seem like we've had any changes. So yeah, so he said it's done. Um, let's uh, say delete all the archives. Okay, so I'm going to wait for Kaspersky to delete these objects. Um, we're going to restart them both and do the third party opinion scans. Guys, I completely jumped the gun on this one. I didn't even show you guys the other stuff. So, um, he said, uh, I'm sorry, um, Kaspersky obviously dealt with all the um, nasties. So we're back to green. Now, what I didn't show was, is obviously um apps that are still installed after the av scans so we do have all these um third body scans here so then we've got this um, advanced system repair a um, couple of programs here um okay so we've got all these other programs here um just a bunch of pups and poas i would say um, there's the RAV. I know there was a VPN for RAV as well. Yeah, there's the VPN, but it's not running. Then we've got McAfee Web Advisor, and yeah. So yeah, um, I think this was the Chinese um, antivirus that I saw, this Kingsoft Internet Security. There was a couple of pop-ups for that one as well. So we've got quite a number of stuff that installed on the ESET side. Um, we only have these ones here. Uh, there's a free VPN there as well. A uh, couple of programs here. But it seems a little bit less on the ESET versus the Kaspersky side, I would say. I think, I think there's a little bit more for Kaspersky than what there is for ESET, but still very close. So that's what we have on that side. Um, let's just double check our startup items. Now let's have a quick squeeze at ESET while we wait for Kaspersky. Seems like this one is still active. And then we've still got these other ones. Uh, we've got this pinball. Okay. Okay, so let's maybe count one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just going to count all these little odd ones. Yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This one is still still working. Nine. Okay, ten, eleven. Okay, cool. So a little bit more for Kaspersky as well on the startup item side. Now um this pop-up here for ESET, I did check it. This is related to that pinball actually. Um, so it seems like it's trying to communicate to these sites and he said it's obviously blocking the communication to these sites so as you can see here's pinball so it's now blocking all of this weird traffic now let's restart these two VMs get the third party opinion scanners updated and then we can wrap this test up okay guys so let's have a look at the final result so this is the AV that I was talking about earlier about this Japanese AV um, so just wanted to show you guys that okay so now uh, let me close all of all of these pop-ups okay so let's have a look at the results for heatman so heatman is blue so that's always good um, seems like we have this uh, in infatica service that might be suspicious and these two other ones as well but then we just got all these uh, right backup ones here and that seems to be that not something so serious regarding Hitman Pro we're gonna hop over to ESET, ESET is red, we've got this one malware here, this work EXE um, yeah, to, seems like it's detected with uh, from surf right um, but yeah, so that is a file in the temporary location, so not really something to worry about unless there is something that actually is going to um, use this EXE. But if it's just there dormant on its own, 
can't really do anything so but yeah this is temp file so that's normal location but then we do have this pinball that i've mentioned where he said is blocking the communication but it doesn't seem like he said is actually detecting the pinball um, exe itself and then um, same issue of this right click system tweak thingies and then also that um, same file that is on Kaspersky but yeah so now on NPE it seems like we've got 16 issues versus 14 and we've got one high um, it's the smart PC I think that's the optimization thingy that I just closed now um, so we've got this one here, then we've got um, directly on, under the C drive, we've got this 32BW um, folder and then these other folders on the C drive as well, account um, changer.exe. So we do have a couple of, couple of issues here. There's no high issues here for ESET. Um, so it seems like we've got a little bit less here um, according to NPE. Now let's quickly exit that out. So on MSYSOP we've got uh, 10 issues versus 2. Um, it seems like we've got that same program um, Yscare as a, um, a PUP. And then we've got a malware here on first trade. So I'm just going to quickly go through it. Seems like the majority is malware. Um, a couple of bad files but only two POPs on EZ we've got two malware only and then it's a malware on the desktop that's our um, sample count so that one actually does not count and then we've got this one an update of that same work one that was detected from Hitman Pro so only one issue actually the other one is just malware on the folder now if we look at malware bytes obviously malware bytes um, takes every single detection into account so, but we do have 819 versus ESET 245. Um, so we've got a couple of PUPs here. So I think that's r what's ramping up the, the detection count is all these PUPs of those um, programs that are installed on the Kaspersky VM. So I'm just going to go through them. I think the majority is just PUPs. Then we've got all these PUPs under the C drive here as well. I don't think I've actually spotted any malware yet. I am going through them fairly quickly. So according to Malwarebytes, I think it's like it's only like PUPs. I don't think there's any real malware, it seems. Oh, there was a riskware somewhere in between all these nonsense. Yeah, so there's a riskware, so it's a registry entry. So, but it doesn't seem like it's actually a lot of malware, it just seems like it's a lot of POPs. So, that's actually not too bad. Um, no, don't copy. Because um, I wanted to use the Kaspersky removal tool and then I remembered, hey, I am testing Kaspersky. Once I test the AV, I don't use its own um, malware scanner. Now on ESET, it seems like we also have only a couple of POPs here. I'm just also going to quickly go through it, but it seems it's all just POP optional driver. Because the only one I can spot on the Kaspersky was that riskware. But it doesn't seem like we have anything for ESET, unless I'm missing something, but I am just going through it quickly. Okay, so it seems like we only have POPs for ESET and the count is a little bit lower. Now um, we're going to look at our startup items again. Okay, so it seems like our startup items are still this one here. Um, but I do notice it is zero byte, so this one actually could be broken as well. Could also actually not do anything because it seems like it's zero bytes so that might actually also not work at all then we still got that um, Infotica and then that pinball but nothing really else seems out of place um, with Kaspersky still seems fairly the same uh, now we've got two news I think it was only one if I wasn't mistaken so we still have a batch file that's got a size so that might still run and then this one seems broken. Okay, cool. So it's only actually that one. 
and yeah that's it so it seems like they got one each that kind of stands out um, I don't think anything changed in the programs I think they are all pretty much um, the same all right so yeah these are the third party opinions um, or sorry third party uh, programs that are still installed so it's quite a bit we do obviously have all these other AVs so it's going to take some cleaning up on the Kaspersky machine uninstalling all these products and then scanning them again make sure that it's clean um, for ESET it's just a couple of programs there's no other AVs that are installed um, and things like that and there's definitely um, and because of all of these icons on the desktop, I had to actually search for the <laughs> third-party opinion scanners because it was quite difficult to find them with all these gazillion text files on the desktop. So it doesn't seem like we've got any post post issues. Okay, documents are still intact, so no post encryption and no remote encryption as well. So yeah, I think that's the end of this test, guys. So let's quickly wrap up. Um, I think Kaspersky took the website test, I think it was by two sites. Um, so Kaspersky just, just took the website test. Um, with the malware test, Kaspersky did good. Um, I did actually kind of expect a little bit better from, from Kaspersky as it normally, normally does. But I must say I actually felt the sweat on these two AVs. I could really see them working. I think the, the samples we had this time um, stood out a little bit more I think they were really really tough samples um, so but it seems like a lot of POPs um, slipped through once again a lot of these programs could be legitimate programs uh, that could be used worldwide but obviously I'm labeling them just as POPs and from the third-party opinion scanners it seems like the majority of files are just actually POPs um, with a couple exceptions here and there but Kaspersky I would say still did good um, you might just need to clean up the system and then scan it a couple of times in a couple of days time you need to maybe keep scanning them as new signatures and things come out just to make sure that if you scan the machine for like a couple of days and it's still clean then you can might kind of make the conclusion that it is clean uh, you might scan it now it's clean you scan it two hours later with new definitions and it might find something so, but otherwise, I think Kaspersky did uh, well on ESET side. Um, I think ESET did also um, well as well. Um, a little bit better, I would say, than Kaspersky. There's a little bit less um, malware outside of our normal locations and less POPs um, installed and no other AVs installed as well. So, all in all, I would say the win goes to ESET on this one with Kaspersky very close on ESET's heels. But, um, yeah, that's my conclusion. I think if I just look at overall um, what the third party opinion scanners say, how many programs are installed, and things like that, I would say Kas um, ESET took the win here. But good results from them both. Um, and yeah, so let me know what other tests you guys want us to do. I know you guys gave us some recommendations and they are on the list. I'll go through them and see which ones are still feasible and um, I'll start working on them. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Thanks again for everyone that stays uh, loyal to the channel and keeps watching these videos. I do really appreciate it. So for all the newcomers, hit that like button on your way out. Um, and please subscribe to the channel so that we can get the info out so that everybody can see the different types of tests and how well products actually do perform. And yeah, thanks again guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next test.